Hey guys, just like to quickly apologize on today's video. The audio quality of my backup mic failed and my main microphone failed, but the microphone you're listening to me through in this video is from an iPhone 13 Pro. It still sounds great. Don't get me wrong, the information is still there. It's still easy to be heard, so it's not going to hurt your ears. Just wanted to quickly apologize in case you noticed the audio quality isn't on par compared to the quality of videos I've been previously delivering. But this video is still a fantastic video, especially if you're in the market for one or doing research. So here here are those amazing features that the Buick can deliver. Vehicle right behind me is the Buick Enclave, and this is technically a hidden gem because this actually is a three-row SUV with modern features and a gorgeous exterior design. So new for the 2023 models is you have this aggressive looking DRL driving lights on the above here that will typically be where your headlight will be but they're actually located right in the center of the bumper. Very similar to like Chevy Bolt and other crossover size small SUVs to give them more of an aggressive look but the Enclay from the exterior still keeps it traditional look from the other Buick vehicles that we've seen in the past because you do have air vents on the side for the engine to extort heat. And you got the Avenir badging right here. This third row SUV can also tow because this does have a towing capacity rating up to 5,000 pounds thanks to its powerful V6 that puts out 310 horsepower. Now front wheel drive is standard for the Enclave but there is an optional all wheel drive option you can select and fuel capacity is actually different this is something i want to go ahead and highlight front wheel drive comes standard with 19.4 gallon capacity and if you go with the all-wheel drive version it does have a 21.7 gallon gas capacity so you get a little more range on the all-wheel drive because you do get that larger gas tank now as stated this is a v6 this is using gm 3.6 liter v6 and it does have some hefty power to it and it is actually tied to an nine speed automatic transmission and another way you can tell if it's an all-wheel drive model is if you actually look at the rear bashing right here you should indicate it if you don't see that it's front wheel drive now the color is kind of like a pearl key green color the color is actually called sega here it is right here and this is basically the key fob that it comes with it's a lot smaller than traditional key fobs which i like and you have all the important button controls right here including the capability to open up your cargo right here there's a little sensor back there we can actually like use your foot to like open it up and close it that way too hands-free it does have that capability and of course your lock unlock and you do have remote start and unlike some vehicles all door handles on this car are smart door handles so you can lock or unlock the vehicle on any door but inside, this is where the interior really does shine, as it's nice, luxury, big, pack, and even has its own sunroof view for the rear passengers. But in the driver's seat, you do have a lot of amazing technologies because this car does ha indeed have a heads-up display. But basically, this is how the cockpit point of view looks like. Again, you do have your heads-up display right here. And right here, you do have adaptive cruise control as well as your lane keep assist, which are all accessible right here. The buttons are extremely large, as well as your all wheel drive button right here. You can toggle this, toggle this off and on, and your different modes that it has. So it only has two driving modes tour, sport, and that's basically it. Android is this high definition rear camera capability. So this is good if you have like rear passengers back here or a cargo blocking your visibility from your rear view mirror. You can always just toggle this and it'll go straight to the rear camera in the back. And speaking of cameras, if you hit reverse, 360 cameras is also available on this car. So you have the overview of your parking lines and stuff like that all right here on your display. You can even zoom in all the way if you need to make sure you're clear on certain situations. You can see if you're not about to scrape your wheels or anything like that. It has all that. And the image quality, as you can tell, it's using a high sensor, which is something I've noticed GM vehicles are doing a lot. Resolution looks nice. It's not, but I mean, inside there's plenty of head, head space and stuff like that for the driver and passenger side. Seats are non massage seats, unfortunately, but you do have all the important controls like lumbar support, uh, seat adjustment, and both driver and passenger side are both automatic. And sunroof right here, as I was originally talking about, only the front sunroof actually does pop open and stuff so if you like to pop it open or have it all the way open you totally can 
Now it does have wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, which is nice, which is an eight inch display, super snappy and responsive, just using the older icons, but it does have hotspot capabilities. Here you have all your important like climate controls, including seat ventilations right here. Wireless charging is supported. And yes, I've been charging my AirPods right here, USB-C as well as a USB-A and your cup holders don't mind the mess be tucked that way if you don't want to see it and your gear selectors just in terms of center compartment space you do have a lot including this cool cubby and you can store more stuff down there as well hopping into the rear now this one does have captain seats and you do have these foldable like armrests right here for both seats right here seats are actually adjustable as well as you can actually recline them or incline them so i have plenty of space even with standing for dating uh, leaving the driver's seat intact, like how my driver position is. I have a lot of leg space coming right here. And a cool thing that I enjoy is actual cup holders right here on the side and storage right here, which is quite large. Back here, you also have your climate controls for your rear passengers, different modes you can select, heated seats, two USB A's, and one household outlet. And to get back to the very back row seat, well, it might look bad on the camera, but. I am sitting in the back. I do have decent leg room as you can see right here. But if you watch my previous video of the Telluride, or if that video still hasn't uploaded, it'll be coming out soon. Watch it right there in the corner. I had more leg space back here for the third row. But this, the back seats right here, they're pretty comfortable. And I got massive cup holders back here. So I'll be, if you're debating about buying one of these, I highly recommend you go in the back seat of this and test out for yourself because there's a little bit of a like slope right here. So Passengers taller than me, I'm 5'8". If you're six foot, you may come closer to hitting your seat head on the ceiling. But there is a little divot right here you can see, but still it's pretty close to uh, my head. But you do have two USB-A ports right here for your passengers as well. Now, checking out the cargo space, cargo space number is right here. And the rear seats right here can also be folded automatically thanks to this little remote right here. Just however, for the front mid seats, you are gonna have to manually go out there and uh, figure out to show you. Use this little lever to fold it. And now we can fold these seats flush. Well, kinda, I have to adjust more stuff. But with all the seats flat, these are the cargo space numbers right here. And you do have a hidden compartment right here, which is what I'm using to like have my grocery bags and stuff in here because there's little cool hooks right here. So you can put to-go bags in here too, if you like. So it's kind of cool that they have this little compartment that actually does lock and actually does have hinges. So it's not just freely just open or if your dog gets it back here, it's not gonna randomly like trap your puppy back here. So I really do like the fact they're actually using hinges as well as a lock mechanism so if your pets don't get stuck and you'll find access to your 12 volt app battery right here as well. And of course you do have your automatic tailgate closer button right there and your tow hitch will be located right there behind that cover. And that ladies and gentlemen is the uh, brand new Buick. But yeah, it's really the new design that that's a big selling point. It's not ugly like other Buicks, it definitely does follow the more modern Buick style. So it's a vehicle for everybody else, but with those larger buttons, like the all wheel drive button and different mode button, the fact they're large, and I don't know how to say this while sounding rude, but it's the truth. It's more for an elderly person because I had my, some of my older friends ride this thing and take a look at it and they were really impressed and they really did appreciate the larger buttons and less of the smaller annoying buttons so it's a really basic clean cockpit and for that reason buick definitely does know their audience anyways there you guys have it hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you found this video review useful informative especially if you're doing research right now on a brand new to a row suv i greatly appreciate it if you actually leave the video a like get subscribed for more car content and technology base on this channel thanks for watching hot shot tech and check out these video over here is that is another video of a vehicle similar to the buick anyways thanks so much for watching take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya